Hey, how you doing everybody? So today I'm going to go ahead and start on replacing the radiator on the 325i and also um, do the water pump and thermostat also. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got planned for today. Um, I wanted to work on the 335 and drop the drive shaft on it, but I said I'll just go ahead and do that when I'm ready to pull the engine because I have to remove the transmission support, so it makes sense I just do that before I go ahead and pull the engine. So like to be efficient, so yeah. So for those of you who's running the splash guards on your car, on this particular car, it doesn't have one on there. Um, once you have that removed, you can go up to this, um, I think it's uh, some kind of cooler for the transmission line. You can go up to it and, um, let me see, use a flathead screwdriver or something and just pry it up like so. And there you go. And then you can just pull it and go ahead and um, leak out all the coolant inside like a bucket or something like that. Um, since it's a 325i, I could go ahead and just, um, oh, wow. So now I see why this thing was leaking coolant. This piece looks like it just broke off right here. So this is pretty much a drain plug. You can use like a flathead or something and turn it. And this is where you would drain the coolant from. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the radiator anyways though. But um, on the 335, um, the inner cooler would be in the way. It sits right below the um, radiator. So I don't, on the 335, I wouldn't really wanna go ahead and drop the inner cooler because sometimes a pain is like an extra step. So you could always just drain it from here if you have an automatic, but if you have a manual, you're gonna have to drop the inner cooler and um, use the drain hole and bleed out all the um, coolant. So clearly since um, all the coolant's already drained out of this car, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this um, on. Cause even if you do drain it off, just go ahead and put it back on. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a, what is this? A T25 socket and remove this from the fan shroud housing. I need new tools. <laughs> this thing doesn't even ratchet right. There it goes. So take the screw and it's now loose from the fan shroud. Okay now, so while using a T20, um, go ahead and remove these two screws right here. So when you remove those, you could go ahead and remove the snorkel piece and it's the same on the 335 also. Um, you can go ahead and remove the air box tool to give you more room. Okay, with the screws removed, you can now remove this snorkel piece. Just pull and it should have like two tabs on the sides so you push those ends and then just like squeeze it like so and you can pull it out right out okay so up top now i'm gonna go ahead and um remove the fan power switch so there's these two tabs right here here and here you just squeeze it and pull up and you just hang it over to the side and then for this piece right here um, you got to be extremely careful. Go ahead and like the same thing we did with the bottom cooler line. Just use a flathead and stick this up and pull it right off. And then pull it off these um, securing parts. Be very careful because this thing sometimes it will be brittle and it will break. And you pretty much got to buy a whole new line just to um, get this piece working again. And try to move this over, over here because so most of the time this is a common failure point right here it will snap off right here so i'm trying not to break this because if i do i have to replace this whole thing right here <laughs> and yeah i don't want to incur any more cost to fix this thing okay so i moved the line over to here and catch it over to the side so that way it's out the way and the power line also stick to the side also so next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is pull out the fan. But one thing I noticed a difference, I never noticed on it. Actually, I don't think on the 335 have it is this sensor right here. But all you gotta do is just go ahead and push it in on the clip piece. Push in and pull up and it comes right off. So on 335s, I don't see that on there. So hmm, I guess you can skip that. Okay, so now I gotta do now just pull out this um, screw right here. It's a T25 socket, take this out, and then we could go ahead and just pull the radiator out. I'm not the radiator, the radiator fan out. So the tab right there in the middle, all you gotta do is push on the part that's um, 
sticking towards the car just pull it forward that in that direction and pull up on the on the radiator fan and it'll come right out so I already pushed it so yeah everything's clear Uh, let me do this with two hands. Hold on. So the fan's out right now. Yeah, it did take two hands to take out. So that's all the room that's there. So when I'm doing the water pump and thermostat, it gives me a whole lot of room to put the wrenches and stuff like that because the water pump and thermostat is like right back up in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking these hoses off. This is a T25. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out right here. Okay, so with the screw out now, you just go ahead and just wiggle this out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Moving to this side, it's a lot more easier. You go ahead and use the. I'm gonna focus. Use the flathead screwdriver and take it off right here. So pull it off like those other holes and just pull up like that. Pull off on it like that. And you'll take this one off. And there's another one up here also. It's the same concept. Use the flathead, pull it out, and just wiggle it off. Like these generally are stuck on, so just make sure just keep wiggling and it'll sooner or later it's gonna come off. So gonna go ahead and um remove this the upper radiator hose. So just pretty much the same concept as the other ones, just use this flathead or whatever and slip it on there, pull it up and just yank it right off. Well, this sucks. Um, luckily, it's on the radiator side, so I'm switching out the radiator anyway. So all I gotta do is just take this broken piece off and um, yeah, hook it up to the new one. Um, as you can see, the material on this is like brittleish or something. It look like I don't even know what this thing is made out of. Seem like mixed up cardboard and <laughs> plastic or something put together just to make this line um but yeah um i'm just gonna have to go ahead and use like a flathead and try to pry this out or whatever and then hook it back up so the main thing that didn't break is this little nipple piece on here and down here well after some perseverance and hard hammering finally got this thing out these hoses out the way what's this one two and three the only thing left now that's holding the radiator in is a screw that's right back here can't really see it too well but if you come over here you can see it so i believe it's a t25 so i got a screw out on this side but on this side i can't have access to it unless if i take off the air box so I'm gonna go ahead and use a 10 millimeter to take this one here, this one here, and use a flathead or whatever to loosen that screw and pull out the air box. Also, oh, wow. while disconnecting this one here. So you just lift up this tab and just pull out and the sensor comes right out. Okay, so with these loose and this loose and the two bolts out of the way, I'll go ahead and just lift this out. I need to get a tripod. This one hand thing is killing me. <laughs> and there go the bolt right here. So I have clean access to it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and then I can go ahead and pull out the radiator. So now with the screws loose and everything, just go ahead and just pull this out. Yeah, just pull it straight up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this with two hands. The radiator is out right now, so yeah. So all pretty much gotta do is go ahead and um, put everything back in reverse. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and um, put the radiator in now because it's still being shipped. It should be here on Saturday. Today's Friday, so tomorrow it should be here. And I still need to go pull the water pump and the thermostat. So able to access it easy with the coolant fan out the way and the radiator. So it's a lot more easier. Actually, with just the fan out, it would be um, just fine to do when you know, I'm doing the water pump and thermostat. So pretty much my end today's video. And so until next time, subscribe, um, comment, anything like that. Um, really appreciate it.
and I'll see you in the next video.